What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the differences between SketchUp Make and SketchUp Pro. Um, there, seem, there seem to be a lot of questions about uh, what you can use some of them for, what the differences are, one of them is a paid version and one isn't. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through some of those differences and hopefully get you a better understanding of uh, what, what they are and um, yeah, kind of go from there. So part of the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be doing some uh, tutorials with layout which is a part of pro which is the paid version of SketchUp so I just want to make sure you guys are kind of clear on what the differences are so let's go ahead and just jump into it all right so first let's take a look at the two options because SketchUp basically comes in two versions right now there's SketchUp make which is a free version and SketchUp Pro, which at the creation of this video costs $695. That may change in the future, but that's what it is for right now. When you go when you go onto SketchUp's website and you download your first copy of SketchUp, um, you're gonna get a 30-day free trial of the Pro version no matter what. So you'll download it, you'll install it on your computer, and after 30 days it'll automatically revert to a make version. So um, I, I don't think it really matters which one, unless you just go buy a license, I don't really think it matters which one you download because you end up with the same thing either way. So you'll get a 30 day free trial of SketchUp with all the features like layout, that sort of thing. But so now we kind of know what the costs are. Um, let's talk a little bit about capabilities and what you're getting for your money. So SketchUp Make, which is the free version, it contains most of the modeling tools and capabilities of SketchUp Pro. So there's a few exceptions. SketchUp Pro contains solid tools, which is a set of tools designed for working with solid objects. So that's really good for things like 3D printing. Um, you can buy extensions for the free version that do the same thing. Uh, I want to say Bool Tools from... Um, from Dale Martin's is a good example of that. It offers kind of the same functionality without having to buy a pro version. So, um, but some of the other things that the make version or the pro version comes with is it comes with a set of advanced camera tools, which are super useful for working with things like set design or complicated camera angles. Um, but overall, I'm not 100% clear on this one, but I think that the dynamic component editing options may only be available in SketchUp Pro as well. So if you're creating dynamic components, you may need a SketchUp Pro license. So recently, SketchUp lost their access to Google's map data, um, meaning uh, the free geolocation features lost their data source. So just so everyone's aware, uh, SketchUp used to be owned by Google and then they were acquired by Trimble but they made a deal where I think for five years after they were acquired Sketch or, uh, Google would still give access to their map data and obviously Google probably has some of the best map data out there well what happened is they basically cut off the access to the map data so they basically said no you can't use it for this function anymore so SketchUp had to go find a new provider for all that data um, as a part of this new provider though that provider also charges licensing fees so because of that the satellite and terrain functions of the map data are only available in SketchUp Pro um, the location ad and map data itself is still available in SketchUp Make, so you can still geolocate models and uh, that sort of thing. But for the actual terrain and satellite data, you're going to have to have a pro license. So those are kind of the modeling differences. Um, another defining feature of SketchUp Pro is its ability to import and export different kinds of files. And uh, the ability to import and export the DWG is a pro version. Um, so I, I think you can export some higher resolution animations with the pro version as well. But um, ba I mean basically the cutoff for pro versus make has been the modeling options are included in both. But the export and presentation functions, which are really kind of functions that you're probably going to use in more of a commercial setting anyway, um, are a part of the pro version. So that's, that's kind of been the cutoff from what I've seen in the features. So probably the biggest reason that people purchase the pro version of SketchUp is for access to layout. So layout is SketchUp's tool for creating documentation and presentations. So things like construction plans, uh, you can use it to add dimensions, labels, title blocks, basically anything you need to present and export any kind of plans. So teaching people how to use this program was one of the reasons that I eventually bought my pro license. Um, another reason is the commercial licensing, which we'll talk about a 
little bit down below. But um, layout is probably the biggest reason that people purchase a pro version. Um, pro version also comes with access to the style builder. So as you probably know if you've watched any of my styles videos, SketchUp comes with a bunch of built-in styles that allow you to change the way your models look. So you can change your lines so they're more sketchy edges and that kind of thing. But this program allows you to create custom line styles um, so you can adjust that even more. Honestly, I don't know that this feature necessarily gets a whole lot of use um, because there's so many different styles available in the free version. But it is in there as a part of the pro version. So, and the big one here is the commercial license. So, according to the licensing agreement of SketchUp, if you're using SketchUp for commercial uses, you should probably be using a pro license. So, if you're just modeling for fun, um, you probably won't have too much use for a pro license. But if you're using SketchUp to go out and try to make money, you should have a pro license. Uh, legally, that's the requirement, and that's what you should have. So hopefully this video clarified some of the questions about around SketchUp Make versus SketchUp Pro. I'll leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, if this was clear, if you have any questions on anything that any of this could do. I love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider visiting my support me page on my website. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash support. Um, that's got everything from links to extensions you can purchase to help support the show to links to my Patreon page. But in any case, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.